Hey guys, it's Maggie, your patient nurse friend, bringing you difficult topics with a side of humor, and that's exactly what we are doing today. We are gonna be talking about intimacy with an ostomy bag. This is one of my most, 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 most requested videos, so I'm finally talking about it, but before we get into it, let's roll the new intro. that intro I have watched it probably 50 times because it lets me relive our wedding so yeah all right like I said we're gonna be talking intimacy with an ostomy that means sex yes we're gonna be talking about sex in this video so dad please if you are watching I beg you not to watch this you can watch all my other videos just not this one I have notes because this video is something that like I said has been asked for many many times and I wanted to approach it so carefully because I don't want anybody to fear this. It shouldn't be feared. Even with an ostomy, this topic should be discussed, but it should be done in a tasteful way and that's what I'm gonna attempt here. If you're new to my channel, I am a 27 year old nurse who also happens to have Crohn's disease and I've been living with an ileostomy bag for over 11 years now. Recently I've had my rectum and my anus sewn shut which I have plenty of videos on if you're super curious about that, a lot of people are. And that is actually another topic I will be talking about in relation to intimacy because that is it's a whole other ball field. It's in a different park, in a different state, in a different world, on a different planet. So we will discuss that in another video, but we are gonna be focusing on this with an ostomy bag. People are afraid of ostomy surgery because yes, it means a bag, a pouch, is adhered to the side of you on your belly and a lot of people think that ostomy bags are extremely visible even with clothes on people are afraid that everyone around them knows exactly what they have on under their clothes which when you get right down to it is not the case 99.9% .9 of people have no idea that you have an ostomy. The only time I was ever able to spot another ostomy bag on somebody who I didn't know had one, the person was letting it hang out. Like I wouldn't have known otherwise because there could be a wrinkle in your clothes. There could be, you know, a fold or something. You don't know what it is. No one automatically assumes, yo, stoma. But because it's viewed as extremely visible, People are deathly afraid of it when it comes to sex because you tend not to have too many clothes on uh, during this um, process. Which obviously, if you don't have anything to hide it, it's gonna be seen. I won't go too far into my sexual history. Please take me on a date if you wanna know that. I don't know intimacy without an ostomy bag because I received my ostomy when I was 16. I was not sexually active at the time, so I just couldn't tell you about what life was like before an ostomy. Sex with an ostomy is all I know. It's all I know to be normal for me. With my ostomy, I have always taken the method of being totally transparent with everybody so even before you get to sex I've just told everybody about my ostomy it's it's what I do I just am open about it just like somebody else says their favorite color is pink or they like going to the beach Maggie has an ostomy it's just a fact to me and it's a fact I don't care about sharing and because of that when I when I talk about an ostomy like I have an ostomy like you like to go to the beach it's just a normal thing I have made it so the people that I know, it's just an everyday topic. It's not something obscure or unusual. I've normalized it for them. And that has been my take on the whole world of ostomies, but especially with intimacy. Ostomies are a completely normal thing to have. Remember that. Some people don't feel as comfortable sharing quite like I do, you know, with a bullhorn. But I always think it's important 
in intimate relationships to share about your ostomy bag and really ease into it. Show the person your ostomy, tell them how it feels, how you care for it, um, what might hurt you, what wouldn't hurt you. Because a lot of the times when it comes to sex with an ostomy, the fear is more on the other person. They're kind of afraid that they're gonna hurt you. And if you've had an ostomy for quite a while, you may know that you can do just about everything that everyone else does, that a slight bump to your stoma may not hurt like your partner thinks it would. There is a fly, can you go away? I'm trying to talk about sex. Talking about it avoids any surprises. I have had friends that choose not to tell about their ostomy before coming intimate with somebody. So it winds up being a surprise in the moment. And to be honest, that, that terrifies me. If I was going to be intimate with somebody, now I just got married, so it's gonna be Zach, but <laughs> if I was going to be intimate with somebody and they didn't know about my bag, I would much rather want them to know about it beforehand rather than when it's getting hot and heavy and you know all the good stuff's happening. Also remember you know you could be at any point in your ostomy journey but particularly when you're early on if you've just had surgery within the last few months or you have not had sex before with your ostomy it's it's new. Take it slow take it slow. There may be some pain. You may need to work into it. You don't want to just rush into it. Definitely, definitely take it slow. There are other ways to be intimate than plain old sex, if you know what I mean. Just take it really easy and talk with your partner to make sure that they're aware of this. And just because it hurts the first time doesn't mean it's going to hurt continuously. I've got a few tips for you that I've collected over the years from friends that have had ostomies and just my own experience that I'll tell you it really helps when you're getting some action, so hopefully they will help you. The number one thing that I can tell you is to empty your bag beforehand. It's, it's the best thing that you can do. Whether or not you wanna cover it with something, you wanna make sure it's as empty as possible because that's the time where it might pop on you. I'm not saying that to scare anybody, but I will say from personal experience and extended stories on my embarrassing stories video, um, I have had my full ostomy bag pop during, you, you get what I'm saying, M more than once. I should really take my own advice. But yeah, definitely empty your ostomy bag. Make sure that it is flat so that way if anything's rubbing on it, you're good. Next is the time that it will pop if it's full. Also, change it if it feels like it's not sticking well. I can't tell you that enough. I can tell you a hundred times. Why? If you feel like it's sort of lifting off of your skin but you think, meh, usually in this situation I'm good, when you're intimate, that's the time that it's going to lift a little bit faster and it may leak on you. How do I know this, you ask? Well, I've experienced it. It really sucks. I also recommend using deodorizing drops beforehand just in case your bag leaks. If you've got the deodorizing drops, you may be okay. You may be able to hide it if you're a little bit nervous with your partner, you're not used to them, or you've just met until you're done and can go to the restroom and change your bag. Also, depending on the filter of your bag, pressure on your bag may release more air, so the deodorizing drops will really help there. Mini pouches are a great idea, especially with two pieces. You can pop off your regular large bag and put on a mini pouch. Or what I like to do, I use the Centura Mio cold class bags. If you didn't know this already, you probably did if you're using them. You can fold them up to different lengths. So normally I keep it at the lower length. I'll just fold it up slightly so that way I have more room for output and I don't have to empty as frequently. But I can also fold it up higher so that way it's a little bit more dainty and out of the way. And finally, there are so many brands of covers. There are wraps, there are ostomy specific lingerie. I'll put some links below in the description bar so you can find those websites that carry those. But there are so many different brands that help you conceal it if you're not comfortable. 
Even regular lingerie is fine, like teddies will cover it. You can do the high-waisted stuff, crotchless high-waisted, there you go, you don't even need to take them off. There are tons of options and it's kind of fun shopping for that stuff, so take a look and see if there's something that may work for you that you think you'd feel comfortable in. And please remember that even though you may view yourself a certain way with an ostomy bag, it doesn't mean that your partner is going to view you that way at all. I've mentioned this a couple of times before, I believe, but my first boyfriend actually had an ostomy bag as well. And the funny thing was, I was so self-conscious about my ostomy bag and how people viewed me. And I realized I literally don't care about him having a bag. It didn't even cross my mind and then one day I realized, I was like, well, this is stupid. I probably shouldn't care that I have one either. I don't care that he has one. It made literally no impact on our relationship. So why am I caring so much? Now I'm not saying to go, you know, search the world for another ostomy patient just so you can experience that. But obviously Zach doesn't have an ostomy bag and he literally doesn't care. He prefers it because he knows how sick I would be without it. But just, just that little story to hopefully give you some encouragement in this world. And I invite everyone that's watching this video, if you have any tips or tricks you want to add to this, please put them below and I will try to go through the comments and compile a list and then put it in the description. So that way, Anybody who's viewing this can just go in the description bar and see these tips. While I wanted to talk about it, I am clearly not an expert on this. I'm truly just sharing my own experiences with this and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and I will see you in the next. Bye.